Hello everyone and I would like to show you one of the recent chess games of the magnificent attacker Alexei Shirov and his opponent was Elham Emmer uh, with the black pieces who represents Nor Norway. Uh, so Alexei Shirov right now represents Spain even though he is originally from Latvia, uh, from the country of the magician from Riga, Mikhail Tal. So because he is representing Spain after he checkmates his opponents, he can say adios amigos albatros after defeating his opponents. I'm just kidding, that would be disrespectful even at online chess. <laughs> so let's see what happened in this chess game. Alexei Shirov starts the game with e4, we have c6, the Karakan defense. So this is the advanced variation of the Karakan defense. And by the way, this chess game was played in the FIDE Grand Swiss Chess Tournament from 2023. Uh, the chess tournament is held uh, in the island of Man. Uh, so that's the place uh, of the tournament, which is happening right now, actually currently, the island of Man. So, okay, bishop to f5, h4 by Alexei Shirov. So we have Karokan defense, advanced variation, h5, bishop to d3, Bishop takes, Queen takes on d3. And also only for the records, uh, Alexei Shirov's, Shirov's opponent is 18 years old, a pretty young chess international master from Norway, but actually his rating uh, is close to 2600. He is, I believe, 2568. So that is a grandmaster level rating point, but he is known as an international master. So we have queen to a5, developing the knight and blocking, e6, knight to f3, developing the pieces, attacking the queen, defending, and Shiro is not exchanging the queens, c5, pushing the pawn, and after d takes, bishop takes, a5, defending the queen and also the bishop, exchanging, and b3. So Shiro is going to fiancé to his bishop on b2 maybe. He can also play a bishop to a3, so knight to c6, rook up, lifting to rook, so this was Shiro's idea, black castled, and then bishop to g5, defending the rook, pushing the pawn, closing and pushing the pawn, rook over, king to b8, so black wants to build a battery from the c file and attacking the c pawn. So this is black's uh, idea, after developing and rook to c8, Rook takes on f5 by Alexei Shirov, which came out of the blue. Unbelievable. He sacrificed the exchange just like that, and we don't know how he is going to win after this position. The win is not clear, but he still sacrificed the exchange, and Shirov is being Shirov. And we all know that Shirov's most favorite chess player was Mikhail Tal. He admired Mikhail Tal, he studied his chess games, and he started to play like Mikhail Tal. So one of the last representatives of the school of Tal. Uh, he plays like Tal. So e takes on f5, queen takes on f5 and building up on the c file, rook over. And e6, Shiro opens some lines and knight goes back and this is both attacking the queen and also attacking the c pawn. So Shiro lost the exchange. After queen takes on c2, he is exchanging the queens. And how white is going to win this? So knight to d4, defending the rook and rook over. Okay, very logical. Placing the rook in the open file. So king over. Well, in this position, actually, black has to be careful. If some random move, then rook in. And let's say defending the knight, what else? Then bishop to f4, check. Moving the king and then rook to e7. And if defending the knight, then knight takes on b5. So as you can see, actually all of the sudden, out of the blue, white has some very strong attack and threatening checkmate. Rook takes on a7. So defending and attacking and white has this very strong move. Rook to c7. Rook takes, knight takes, only move. Discovered check. Moving the king and then capturing the rook. So you can see that this was just one possible line. One possibility. So you can see that things can easily go to the south for black, so rook to e1. So positionally speaking, actually white is doing okay, but white lost the exchange because of playing extremely aggressive. Bishop to f4, 
So rook uh, from 3 to c5 defending the b pawn and rook is getting in b4, f3, knight to e7, rook to e7. Uh, so Shiro is very resilient and he grabs a pawn. So black is going after the pawn but Shiro is defending. Extremely resilient and Shiro was a fighter. So shuffling around and then defending the pawn. So Shiro is making things very difficult for black. Defending the knight and attacking the rook. So rook to c2, knight to c7 and we have king to b8. Discover check and also capturing the pawn. Now things are not looking very good all of the sudden. After moving the king, knight check, checking again, maybe checking with repetition at first. But now infiltrating on the 7th rank. Rook to a2, check and also defending the a-pawn, checking the king and then bishop to e3, we have rook to g8. Well, let me show you what happens if rook takes on a6, then knight to c7 is forking the king and the rook and after rook takes on c7, white is better. So white is a pawn up. But in the real chess game, after bishop to e3, we have rook to g8 and the game continuation is not that better than the possible continuation that I have demonstrated. So what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Shiro continues to play like the magician from Riga and he played a tremendous move, an amazingly beautiful move. And after that move, black resigned. What would you do? Did you see the move? Shiro says, as he is representing Spain, he said, Adios, Albatros, Amigos. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know Spanish. So, this is the move. Rook takes on a7 by Shiro. Boom. Adios, Amigos. Black resigned. The possible continuation, what happens if capturing the rook? Then we have check, only move, check, mate. <laughs> amazing chess game, amazing checkmate. And after this move, if not capturing the rook, if hoping to survive, then rook to b7 and where is the king queen? If king to a8, checkmate in one move. Or knight to c7, checkmate. So, uh, king to a8 doesn't work because of this move. And what happens if king to c8, then we have check and winning the knight. And checking the king like this doesn't work because as you can see, well, basically uh, white is surviving. You can check the king and white can escape. And white is much better. Actually, white has two minor pieces plus two extra pawns. And also white has two passed pawns. So this is easily winning actually for white. So this is why black resigned and in this position, only for the records, if capturing like this, of course not king to h3, but king to h1 and there is no more checks because the bishop is defending. And good luck defending for black. Actually, bishop check is possible. So you can see that pushing the pawn is possible. This is all over. What a game by Shirov against his much younger opponent. He plays exactly like Mikhail Tal. Seriously, I'm not exaggerating. Rook takes on a7 and black resigned. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.